up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. My name is CP. This is the podcast where CP talk about shit CP want to talk about. Maya throws some shit into in the mirror interjects, but for the most part, CP Podcast. Um, remember that when y'all be leaving comments. Like, why he eat all the time? Because it's the CP Podcast. Why did nigga be going off on tangents? Because it's the CP Podcast. Why did nigga be late a little bit? Because, well. They don't know. Yeah, it's the CP Podcast. Color people time. Anyway, it don't matter. Listen, what I'm trying to say is this, man. Uh, we're just here to have fun. This is a funny podcast where we talk about conspiracies and cool stuff like that. We all have an opinion. If you don't like our opinion, um, we would like you to write it down and then fold it up real tight like you used to do clay like this. Hold it up real tight, get knead it in between you, and get it real skinny, and shove it up your motherfucking pee hole. Anyway, <laughs> um, of course, I got Maya with me with the with the with that scarf. You look like you about to go make some butter. What the fuck going on? You about to go make some butter, butter baby. You want to be a butter? <laughs> Tony likes for that turn. <laughs> Tony likes fresh butter. He likes fresh butter. That's all I know. He got that land of legs thing on. Either that or you, you 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 came here in one of them vans that the front of the van is also the door to the van. And you just open it up and it's just psychedelic in that motherfucker. And we got Amir who just... Amir be on time all the time, but it's because all his outfits match. Amir could go in his closet, grab a shirt, grab some jeans, grab some socks, and it would be all black every freaking time. Shout out to Amir, man. What's up, man? How, y- how y'all feeling? Good. It's been a crazy week. Man, it's been an insane week, man. Shout out to... First of all, I want to say rest in peace to take off. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know what to say as far as um, anything that can make anybody in that camp feel better. There's nothing to say. Um, sometimes things are so ridiculous that they make you reflect inward. Because it's like there is nothing that I can say that could make anybody feel better. I think we all understand how ridiculous it is. If you ever came in contact with Takeoff, you understand what kind of dude he was. Um, and so it's just like, it's just, it's so, so, so sad. And um, I don't know, man. I don't know what 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 we gonna do. I don't know what we do as far as that goes. Um, but I am happy to see you guys. I'm happy to see, shout out to the live chat. Uh, we got seven people in here for the live chat. That's all we be needing, a small, intimate audience. You know what I'm saying? This could be like a, a two-bedroom apartment orgy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you feel me? Two couches, some black, whatever. Anyway, um, it was, it's, 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 it's us, man. Shout out to uh, Elvin Lackey. Shout out to Miss Zuriel. D-Law, what's the deal? Um, Yeah, man. Y'all know what it is, man. 44 Music Group. Uh, So... Um, with that being said, man, like I said, my condolences to them. Um, you know, it's just it it goes without saying. I think that this is one of those situations where, um, you know, when you was a kid and everybody was playing too much, but then like the baby got hurt, mm-hmm. and then everybody was like, "What the see see," and then everybody be like, "Damn, that's how." In a weird way. That's how I feel. It's like, dog, this is what the fuck we be talking about when we say sit the fuck down and stop pl- doing stupid shit. That's exa- that's this is how I feel. It's like, dog, this is like, come on, man. This this didn't make no fucking sense. It didn't. It's just nonsense, nonsensical. So that's that's like I can't explain no other way for like people who are outside of the culture who don't understand what this feels like. Do you agree, Amir? I know Amir is from Atlanta. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it, it hurt me a lot. Like I didn't expect, I didn't expect that to hit me the way it did. But then I realized, I started reflecting like on how much we grew up. Like I grew up on their music. Like a, a big part of the end of when I was, because I'm younger, so I graduated in high school, and Versace was blowing up, and then you got heard Drake got on remix. It's like, oh snap, Migos, this is about to be their time. And then all the mixtapes that they had through college for me. And Ando, back yeah. when Offset was in jail. Yeah, Offset constantly in jail, and it's just it's just Quavo and Takeoff doing their thing, and then the lead up to Bad and Boozy, and then Gambino shouting it out, then it goes number one, and then they drop their album, and everybody loving it, and I was like, this is like a classic. Like I don't understand. We've been we've been rocking with them, and then everybody knew, and then you know they keep going, they keep putting out put Culture Two out, and they put three out, and they kind of fall apart, and it's like, oh, what's going on with them? And then now 2022, Takeoff gone. It's like. It's like, yeah, like I've been saying before, it's like it's like watching an episode of Unsung on Amigos, but in real time. You get to watch their 
their start. And then it's like, it seems like now it'd be the, like their finish. So that that's what hurt me a lot. Just, you know, connecting to their music and then all the memories you have, like my family and my friends. It's like, bro, this is crazy. Like who would who would have thought 10 years ago it'd be, this is, this is where it's going to end up. Nobody. Right. For random. real. For real, man. Like, <clears throat> um, so with that, um, we have to, you know, move on. We were talking about it earlier when y'all were off the air. Maya, you were saying how you even got to stop fucking with the war videos and, Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying because they were posting that stuff, and I hate that I saw it, but it's like a part of me is like, I, I feel bad, but I'm like, man, I it's like I couldn't look away because it's like, it hurt so bad that you almost, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like that part of the hurt where it's like, I wasn't there, I'm not family, but it just hurt my feelings to see some shit like that, to to understand that that happened. It's like when people get tattoos of somebody who's dead. Tattoos hurt, but you hurting so much that it's almost like the tattoo is like secondary pain and it's like a, a justifiable pain that you just want to go through because you so, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, And I get it. I get if you have to show those videos to people to say, this is serious. This is really what happens. This is really kind of what can happen. Yeah. So then it's okay to show it to people, but a lot of people, they don't watch it like that. They watch it, you know, to get a sick thrill or whatever and to share and to just startle people. But- if you're gonna share something like that, share it because you want people to stop acting this way. I mean, I hate that they shared it. I really do. I hate that they shared it. I hate that I even saw it. You know what I'm saying? Like some stuff wasn't my business. You know what I'm saying? But we're in that in that world where everything is on aisle five for display and everything is, you know what I'm saying? Um it's crazy, man. Like that happened really fast too. That happened like the past 10 years where you could just see on your phone all these death videos and whatever. You know? No, nah, it was before that. Remember Faces of Death back in the day? That was like 20 years ago. I remember that. But it mm-hmm. wasn't on your phone. Like, oh. Well, it wasn't on your phone, but I mean. It wasn't even like, I don't think it was something that was like real time. You know exactly. I think exactly. the real time like aspect stuff, of it. stuff, yeah, stuff real time happening is, is absolutely crazy. Because it'd be like, it could be live streamed like, or you can even see like, he passed away. We knew he passed away. We can go on his Instagram story and see that man alive in the same time span. Like that, that kind of realization makes things seem a lot more grim because it's like that you know they had their it's like we can see their moments of joy and then all of a sudden it's like we can see at the same in the same day we can see in a couple hours later we can see the video of them like going like leaving essentially because yeah, he posted that day on instagram yeah he posted who cool. take up did he had a uh he like an instagram story yeah like for like I you saw, know i saw an instagram story from quavo where they was in the car yeah, oh, I, every, anybody that was there had a story before then, like, you know, Instagram story. They was just having fun. It was a party. They were going to a party. So, yeah. Shout out to Brandon Taylor, man. I see you just walked in, my brother. Welcome to the live, man. This is how you get your name put in the episode, man. Welcome to the to the ground floor of this shit. Another another thing we got to talk about. Amir is, is, is our amazing editor and uploader and... The moderator, he he's got his finger on the button right now to go to the next camera to get Maya's reaction, right? But Amir be editing shit out, made me look bad. What I edit up? What did you edit out? I offered y'all some food uh, every time I order food. I be like, y'all want to buy some food, and 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 it is don't get an episode. And then people be like, this motherfucker just gonna eat in front of y'all, and I, I'm like, I will buy this whole building some food. That's how greedy I am. I want everybody to eat so I can eat. Y'all know me. He does. Every he single definitely time he does. Offers every I cut it out time. because it 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 pulls away from you pull the, away from the, the story, from the, the right? Content. And it'd be so random. I'd be like, I'm gonna get a big mat. Y'all want a big mat? And then it is he pulls it out. But I don't mind you pulling out. But we just got to acknowledge that I do offer my people food, man. We don't just. I'm not finna eat in front of nobody. I'm, I'm like a grandma when it comes to that. I'm gonna make sure you didn't eat today. What the hell? You didn't eat today. You know what I'm saying? Like, but um, but yeah. So I don't know what y'all think I was. Uh, this evil uh, podcast man who come in here eating <laughs> Big Macs and shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, what else is going on, man? It's a lot of crazy shit going on. Uh, first, can I just warn people about something? Because mm-hmm. I had a really scary week uh, last week with oh, my dog. with your dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought my dog had scratched his eye because it was red. And so take it to the regular vet, put drops in it. Okay, fine. Turns out my dog had had glaucoma. And his eye had actually burst in the head, in his head. And that's why it was red. And I had to go and get a surgery to have his eye removed. Hold up. Hold the fuck up. 
Glaucoma mean your eye can burst? The, it starts to bulge. So if you see that your pet's eyes starting to bulge, yeah, and then, yeah, and so if you see that the I eyes should be to bulging bulge. all the fucking time. Yo, get that checked out. Well, you smoke a lot of weed. You'll be able to say, "Oh, my head hurts." Like a dog can't say that. But my head be hurting. You probably don't have glaucoma. Yeah, you know that. That it's like when you get older. Yeah. And if I you mean, get regular eye checkups, they'll know. Yeah, your eye doctor. I don't will. get regular eye checkups. You got to. Because that, that can be real When's the serious. last time you went to the, the eye doctor? I take my kids. I don't. I see amazing. I have 20-20 amazing. I have eagle vision. Okay. Yeah, if you're, it usually is like a sign like your vision starts to get a little blurry. Because that mm. is, is something in the... Is that, is that cataracts? Lens. Yeah, he was starting to get a little uh, glossy-eyed. Like yes. His lens was shifting in his eye. Yeah. And if I had caught it sooner... I might not have had to get his eye removed, and that is an expensive surgery. So for your dogs, if you got a dog out there, ask your vet if your dog has glaucoma. Did y'all get to keep the eye? No. No. Why not? You just I keep don't it. Want show it to your dog. dog. Eye. Show it to your dog. Like, look, this is your eye. I would, I would. He only got a little life. Put that nigga eye in a jar, and he let him look at his shit like, yeah, that's not. He's aiming Targaryen now. <laughs> Did you name him Aemon Targaryen? No, his name is Doyle. Amen, you, you let him know your name. I would name him Amen. Like your name is Amen now. <laughs> Make him like, a I understand. Is he? He's easy in the cone. He wearing the he's cone. He's in the cone. When the cone comes off, we're gonna get him an eye patch and a turtleneck because yeah. now that he's got one eye, he's gotta have a turtleneck. Gotta what have the fuck? You need a turtleneck for a turtleneck sweater. Yeah, because he's got he's got one eye. Like we got, it's gotta match the eye patch. Well, now he need a top hat. You can't just leave him at that. And he needs a monocle. He's like, <laughs> Well, now I was a spouser. I used to sniff asses and then I. Damn, that's crazy. Y'all gonna put like a put a put a um a sapphire in his eye. It looks like he's just winking. They it's like sealed shut. Right, but put a sapphire there though. <laughs> put a sapphire. And someone's gonna rob him. Y'all protect him. <laughs> What you mean somebody go right? Oh, he done went through all this and y'all gonna let somebody take his sapphire eye? It never even occurred to me. We'll, we'll consider it. He's aiming Targaryen. Shout out to Doyle. Doyle, we want you to get better, man. Damn, yeah. dog. D D is, is, is Doyle neutered? Yeah. Oh, he ain't got no nuts. He did that to himself. He, he ran off and then he got picked up. And they're like, you know, it's illegal to have a dog that's not neutered. This was like in Glendale or something. I was like, oh, okay, okay, I guess, I guess you're neutered now, buddy. Shit, I'd have been like, uh, we're gonna let our vet do it. And then I'd have been like, catch me if you can, bitch. You taking my dog balls? And my dog would have been like, like, you know what I'm saying? Just excited. He can't talk. He'd be like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's why he ran off to begin with. He's probably trying to get some. I feel him. Shit, why do any of us run off? As humans, we don't do enough fucking. We do everything else. We don't do enough fucking, and the animals is doing all the fucking, and there's no fucking for us. We got to work, and we be doing too much shit. And they be like, dog, like, it's just, man, being a human, whack. You be a dog. You can fuck any dog that you could get to. Any dog you could get to. Here we are. We barely be for a little bit in the nighttime. It complicates things. We got stuff to do. Man, we got stuff to do because we told ourselves we got stuff to do. All roads lead back to fucking. But we don't want to admit that. You don't want to be homeless, so you got to work and pay your bills. Because homeless people don't have enough shower time to really be fucking like they need to without getting infections. So now you got to work to have a house, to have a shower, right? Come on, man. Come on, you got to have a car because don't nobody want to fuck a walker. I just bought a bike. A bicycle or motorcycle? A um, bicycle, but it's motorized. It's an electric bike. <laughs> What's the point of that? Why you laugh? Well, good, why? Stuff gets, you know what? It don't matter now. My feelings are hurt. Okay. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you about my bike. Are you going to give up? All right, fuck it. Now I'm going to tell you since you don't want to hear it. All right, look. Well, I work on the Disney lot, and people have bikes and to get around the lot. So my first couple of weeks, I was just walking around with my regular legs and not on a bike. Mm -hmm. And then I went and got me a bike. I went, you know, monkey see, monkey do, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But my bike is motorized, so they be pedaling. And now I'm ahead of them. 
It's so fast. I brought it too. It's in my trunk because it folds up. Don't you want to pedal so that you can get, I don't know, better legs? Do I pedal the car? No, I don't. I, I guess it's the it. point of like getting the bike and then it was like the exercise part that the comes with it. Oh, fuck all that. No, no, no. The, ex- the point is point A to point B. And I can pedal. It has pedals. Okay. Yeah, I can pedal. If I run out of power, you know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do? I, 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 yeah, I the only it. thing I'm thinking of is that it, it's probably a fairly heavy bike because it has a motor on it. So then pedaling would be like a... No. No, no, no. It folds up. So a folding electric bike. It folds. Bike. It's like, it's like, it gets like this big. Nice. Hmm. And then you just, um, I'll show y'all when we, when we get done. And it is fast. It has three speeds. Regular, fast in the mug, fast in the motherfucker. Three speeds. I, I like to keep it on fast in the mug. You know what I'm saying? Save some battery. But if I need to, fast in the motherfucker. Boom. It sounds just like the Tesla too. It got that. I be loving that shit. White people be looking at me like, oh, that's a pretty nifty little bike. Like, Shut up, bitch. Cause I don't leave that motherfucker nowhere because they be stealing. Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. And it has keys. It got a key. I could lock that bitch up with a key. They thought of everything. Nice. They thought of everything. Anyway, what, what are we talking about, man? So there's this urban legend going around. I don't oh, know if shit. it's true or not. Here's, here's my only thing is this woman, she says this happened to her friend, that her friend went for a BBL in the Dominican Republic and got her kidney stolen. Now, for me, I'd like to see the friend and like to see the medical records, but that's what's going around. This lady says her friend went to and got a kidney removed, human trafficked. They do that stuff. Mm, mm, mm. They will take your organs in a lot of places because I was uh, hearing that you can get like half a million dollars for the organs in a human body. Mm, Can I tell you? Mm -hmm. Can I tell you some shit that's going to fuck you up? Mm Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, man, I'm trying to think how I can say this without getting nobody in trouble. Because you know how, like, you don't want to out nobody who don't want to be outed and it ain't got nothing to do with you. You just kind of hear the story from them, and it's like, peep this. Talk to this dude who will remain nameless. A police officer in Chicago. Working the homicide and the pick up the bodies after they've been killed, unit off the street, scraping them. He said he scrape a body up four o'clock in the morning. Three hours later, kids are walking to school, playing in the same spot. Never even know. That's how crazy this shit is, right? Anyway, he said this guy got shot, and the guy was talking like he was telling, like, "Yeah, this is the guy that shot me. This is what happened." Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. He was in stable condition. The police officer said he walked out of the room to take a call or do something. The nurse said, "Oh, are you done with him?" He's like, "Oh no, I just take him." She's like, "No, get everything you need because we're taking him up to six. Then what's going on on six? There's a chance he might not make it. Hmm. So we're we're gonna get his organs now." Hmm? <laughs> There's a chance he's not going to make it. He's like, I'm, I'm, I just got done talking to him. So, yeah, we know, but the doctor said he may not pull through and we need to get his organs now. Why? You have like an hour after death? You have some time after death. To it get depends on what organs that they wanted to get from him. It's not all organs that you have an hour after death on. Really? But... I mean, motorcycle crashes, they get, they're get they dead when they arrive at the hospital, and then you get the time to... Yeah, well, depends on what they need. Hmm. Then you think about how much violence in Chicago or these other places, and how much money is in black organs. How desperate people who have wealth but no health and no time could be. And you think that the human trafficking and people going missing and all of that is just, that's like scratching the surface. I, you should never put organ donor on your license because, they, yeah, I agree with that, Missouri, because they will not try to resuscitate you. Resist, uh, resuscitate yeah, you. It's, it's not on my license. No, not at all. Especially after, 
what happened last year where they took the non-vaccinated off the organ, uh, organ receiving list, then I'm like, yeah, you don't get my organs either. Because that was creepy. So What happened? Explain it to me again. So they said that certain people were not vaccinated, so they couldn't receive organs. So especially after that, I'm like, absolutely not. You don't get any. Damn. You would think if you need an organ, you would get vaccinated too. Like, I ain't finna fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, I'm just thinking. I mean, I ain't for vaccination or against it. Whatever you do, whatever you want to do with your body. It's but. Their people's bodies, you know, that's their, own, that's their own thing. But I just feel that, you know, if I'm not good enough to get an organ, I'm not good enough uh, to, to give an organ. So this dude... Where is this Wait dude? a minute. This dude... Wait a minute. Miss Zuriel said, if you want to become an organ donor, donor, you should put it in your will. You know how long your will is going to take to get reconciled? You're not, yeah. That's like two weeks minimum. And that's if you got a good will. Mm-hmm. Them organs is dried up and gone. It's, it's gone. Yeah. You can tell your significant other to say, yeah. Because it's their decision, your wife's decision. After you pass, it's your wife's decision to... Do whatever. So I, yeah, I told but, Tony. No, nah. you told Tony what? I changed it. I now I'm like, it all stays with me. I don't yeah. care. It's my shit. If somebody walk around with my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's the first thing they go for? Hey man, I'm laying there. The people to take what they want. <laughs> You're like, this is so good. They're gonna. This is what they want. They don't need hey, a heart. Man, they don't hey, need. Man. This is what they, they gonna get want. the heart too. The heart connected to the dick. All that, the blood pump to it. They gonna want the whole motor and the transmission. <laughs> Dudes are funny. Um, so this guy, Remy Adelaki. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's a former Navy SEAL. Da, 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 and he just has made this thing about human trafficking because he's traveled all over the world, and. He's seen how how these things work, especially if a person doesn't have much money. There are places in India where you can just be like, yeah, I'll sell you my kidney because you only need one kidney. Mm -hmm. So you could be like, okay, so let's say 50,000 rupees for a kidney. Okay, let's make the swap. That's okay. But what he's talking about is people who go find people and kill them and take all their organs. Yeah. So what do they do? So that, but so like, like they find out there's a list of people who got the blood type or whatever that you need, and you just go look for them. Well, in his the movie that he made, there was a um, a broker, basically. So it was like families. Let's say your boy needs a heart, so someone has to die to give your kid a heart. It's not like a kidney, and so families were like, "Yo, my boy needs a heart. I can pay." you know, half a million dollars, I can pay whatever it's going to cost. Right, but or you could wait, go to Chicago and wait for these niggas to kill each other real quick and grab a heart. You still got to be on the list. The organ donor list, That's, is you got to jump that list. My, we're doing underground black market shit. That, we're not talking about no motherfucking list. We're talking about they're stealing these young men's and women's body parts. Ain't no list for the steal. The list is the money. Well, I'm a ima I imagine that if he got in a hospital in the United States, even if it even if they killed him, that that's recorded that those organs are there. Absolutely. It's not. in it's in the record, so it's the not. list. I'm gonna tell you how it happens. Those those organs were disposed of. We threw them away. Oh, you did? Okay. Let me break it down to but you. But they like had this. the surgery that they billed for. No, they don't. Maya? Whereas if you go to Mexico, what you're talking about does happen. Right, but what I'm telling you is this. So like they take the organs out. The body's dead anyway. The morgue gets all the body parts at the end of the day. Right? So this ain't no surgery for the surgeons. They could they could rush this body down to however they want to do it. It's like, you dead. You ain't going to tell nobody. We got, your, we got your Achilles tendon for Kobe or whoever the fuck need one, your ACL, whatever, and you the fuck on. See, I would buy that more if it weren't in a hospital because they do bill for those surgeries. Like there's a surgeon who has to come in and do all that stuff and he's going to get but charged. But what I'm telling you is that if, if the surgery is billed for a lung surgery, but you don't make it. Yeah. And then they take the heart while they're in there. You understand what I'm saying? I, now, I understand what you're saying. So now this has been paid for. It's been sanctioned. And who is going to, is your family going to be like, okay, can we see his heart? 
Can we see his lung? Can we see his kidney? No, they're taking that shit and doctors are getting fucking paid. See, I don't buy that happening in the United States at a hospital. I buy that happening in Mexico. Why do you not buy it happening at a... Oh, because, because of the billing. Because of the... Maya, I'm this telling person you, has to do, go see, through look, this I'll be procedure. trying to explain to you. I'll be trying to... Listen, this is me trying to explain to Maya crime. <laughs> and Maya be like, well, no, that's... It's illegal to run a red light, so you have to stop at a red light, and then that's when they'll begin. Maya, people are fucking doing the opposite of the law and the procedure. It's so risky. If if they got if that hospital got sued by, by even who? one by even one person who found out about that, if that hospital got sued, they could lose everything. But Whereas everybody you can do it in Mexico. Greased. Of course, you do it in Mexico. You you can do it in a lot of countries where that's just like it happens, but. There's still an organ donor list. I just in this want country. you to understand, Maya, the risks that are associated with everything that we talk about damn near in this room. Mm -hmm. All the crimes, all the the death risks, like people don't care. Like nobody cares. Yeah, there's a lawyer out there who will do it. The, I, I mean, I, you you presented I, can I something. something. Can I something I to need you? to see more evidence for what you're can presenting. I explain, can, I, can I explain something Whereas to you? Whereas this, I see that this happens in other countries. Can I explain something to you? Yes. Lawyers work for money. Mm -hmm. That's it. But the lawyers uh, get off people who kill people because they they have the money. A settlement on a hospital is stupid money. They they would make so much Do you getting know how a settlement much money on this that hospital? you would make from doing about fifteen of these transplants a not, month for a year. Not as much as a settlement on a hospital. Well, you're getting half a million an organ. If you're getting that, well, well, okay. So I'm just saying, like, if you're getting that, and then a settlement on a hospital could working... be in billions of dollars. No, it's not. Yes, my... it could. Uh, the hospitals have deep pockets. If you can sue them for anything, you should. No, you shouldn't. You could. Like yeah, they, you don't want to be on that list of motherfuckers who sued the hospital. They'd be like, oh, this is my man. No, I smother him. <laughs> just don't go to that hospital. But yeah, like, it, it, there's more money in catching an American hospital doing this than there is in the organ donating, uh, stealing the organs. Whereas in Mexico, it's different. It's the, it's the opposite. Can I explain something to you? Sure. All right, let's say I'm selling dope, right? Mm hmm And I have a customer, my favorite customer. This motherfucker's putting my kids through college buying my dope. Right? It is in my best interest to keep this customer alive versus take the chance of this customer dying and then me finding another customer that has that kind of money and that kind of access to said money. Mm -hmm. So what I'm telling you is that people making donations to hospitals, people building hospitals, people um, lobbying for pharmaceuticals and all that, they're so important to the hospital that they are more important than the person you think got something on them to sue. They're more important than that lawyer that's taking that case to the point where you got to find a lawyer that is deeply like some Aaron Brockovich, this is causing cancer, I'm exposing the under, like somebody passionate like that who's going to go uphill for no money. It's not no money. It's, it's stupid money. Right, Maya, but you got to live to see the money. <laughs> you understand? Like, so you ha okay. I come from Detroit. Mm hmm Like, they had to go get Kwame because they knew when when they gave that nigga the, the, the verdict, bam, you're going to get years. But he left. They, had, they ran and got him because they knew that you, you let this nigga out the door, he gone. Like, the rules is for the suckers. The rules is for the people who... The sheep, it's like this. If the rule is the sheep stay together, then why don't the wolves understand that those are not their sheep? Hunger precedes all boundaries. Drive is going to drive you past what the quote-unquote rule is. See, the rule is wolf get hungry, wolf eat. Yeah. Period. That's the real rule. But the rule is stay your ass alive. That's the only rule that you got to follow. That's the only rule. Like, if I am if I don't have a CCW, but I have a gun, and a nigga run up on me, you think I'm not going to shoot him because I don't have a CCW? You yeah, think it's, I'm not going to? It's just, it's just uh, cost-benefit analysis. 
It's well, just the, the trouble you get into do it here. It's just, it just makes more sense to just go over to Mexico and get your organ. Or fly, if you have this kind of money, fly to a country, do it, and then there's no tracking you and these people don't bother with you rather than to do it in the United States. It's just, it's just cost-benefit analysis. That's all. I mean, I feel you. I also feel like healthcare in America is a little better. Your chances of getting a healthier kidney here versus a kidney from a country that is not up to par with our healthcare standards and all of that, the procedure going more smoothly with more skilled surgeons, things can happen. I'm telling you right now, like, if I got the money, I know that I'm going to get what I need, flat out. And I know I ain't going to have to wait, period. I actually suggest that anybody who's interested check out this man's uh, documentary. His name Remy Adelike, and he he made a movie about organ trafficking. Um, this is what he does. And hey, he's that's a, a good badass. point. D Law D Law said it's not really a money issue because healthcare could be free, but D Law that absolutely makes it a money issue because healthcare isn't free. The fact that healthcare isn't free lets you know that healthcare in this country is for sale. Everything's for sale. Up. The whole country's for sale all the time. Do y'all hear? Do, do y'all please, people? Maya be like, you be fighting me up a wall and then say this shit. I'm saying whatever. All right. No, okay. I just want to. I just want to let people. I don't want it to seem like it's conspiratorial. It's just gotcha. like our okay. system is so. Where Where is his documentary? We saw it anyway. Special Forces guy. Like, I don't think we can play this, but yeah, go to his go to his site and see his thing on organ yep. harvesting. You show me a city that got a high rate of young black, healthy, strong. Men and women dying at a high rate, and I'm gonna show you a hotbed for organs and a lot of other shit. It I just mean, makes sense. There, there is something. If you were gonna, if you were gonna do that, I see what you're saying, D-Law. Go ahead. If you were gonna do something like that, it that wouldn't make sense to do it through prisons because a lot of these prisons are private, and you could get away with it way easier than in a hospital. If you were super evil, but let's assume like. Not if I mean, you're super the prison, evil. That's a whole other issue, though. And that that is closer to people could make the argument it's closer to human trafficking. I used to do um, these documentaries on this prison called Geo Group, mm -hmm. and there there were contracts to the government where we had to keep a certain number of inmates in beds. We had to keep a certain number of these beds filled, mm -hmm. and this was for asylum seekers. And this this is going back. Bush made the law, and mm -hmm. then um, Obama enforced it. And the stuff that they could get away with in these like private prisons, and they weren't like black locations. They were they were regular prisons, but what they could get away with, which no one really cared about because they were immigrants, it was crazy. But there was no organ harvesting going on, as far as I'm concerned. But if they wanted to, that's something they could get away with. Yep, man, it's unfortunate, man. You know, we we think that this country is so innocent and benevolent. They do a lot of shit to a lot of people. They just haven't done it to you because realistically, you're not that important to them oh, to do it to. There's some crazy shit going on, man. What you think, Amir? You've been quiet, man. Uh, I, I mean, I don't doubt it as far as the harvesting and stuff like that and dark web or- You think about market. Get Out and all of that? And that was so, I mean, that was abstract. But you look at that. There are plenty of people who would steal my body if they could. You think so? Oh yeah. I see people like look at me when I'm like uh, uh, skating or I'm doing like whatever I'm doing, and then and they, there's like a hint in their eyes. It's like I'd take that bitch's body if I could. I'm like, you are a hater. Hate that ain't ass. hating. Yeah, they want your goddamn body. Hating, hating. Man, well, okay. So this is this is this is crazy, but not not feasible at all. This is absolutely 100. percent I believe it wholeheartedly, without a doubt. And what this guy's doing is actually really brave, because once you once you get outside of the Western world, these people are vicious. These people are vicious. When you're talking about having to climb out of the slums of a third world country, to do that, what you got to do and what you got to be willing to do is, it's the kind of stuff that we can't even like conceive of, how yeah. fucking, e sorry, how evil these people can be. Uh, especially human trafficking, kidnapping a person for the purposes of murdering them and taking their organs. Like, I don't even want to, I don't even want to, let's move on mm. to something nicer. What's else going on? 
Do you Let's believe get... in magic? Hell yeah. You believe in magic? Hell yeah. Okay. Vanessa Hudgens has a movie coming out called Dead Hot Season of the Witch. I guess she is into this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. She's going to Salem. She's she's definitely a looker. So she's fine as hell. Mm -hmm. She says it's going to be the craft meets the simple life. So, yeah. The simple life. Was that what Paris Hilton in there? Yeah, that stupid show. So they about to be she about to be going and doing stuff. Yeah, she she's gonna practice. She says she already does some sort of practice and she wants to, you know, learn about it more. Oh, that means it's gonna be whack. You think she's not a she ain't gonna no real shit on T V. What do you think how far do you think uh magic goes? How much time you got? I, we got the time, it's your podcast. How much time you got? You're right. I don't know why I said that. That just sounds like some good shit to say, like how much time you got. But yeah, it's my yeah. <laughs> um I'm gonna I think that the real magic in this world is being used to make us think that magic is ridiculous. It spells on this country and on this land. It's the reason why we can't really see through what it is for real. Um, people think it's cool to be witches and all that shit. You know, I... I It's some shit out here, man. There's some shit out here, and it ain't about it being bad or scary, you know, shit like that. It's just that there are different ways to go about um, moving through your consciousness and your intent. And, you know, and it's more ways to skin a cat than the way that you know. Mm. You know, and I don't know how many ways I can... I don't want to say too much, but it's just like... Uh, All this shit ain't coming from nowhere. All these ideas and this folklore and, you know, everything ain't not true. Everything ain't ridiculous. Everything ain't, you know, bullshit. But they give you so much stuff and so much of it do be bullshit that it's, it's, it's helping them to mask what's really going on. What do you think witches can do? Um... Do you believe in hexes? Do you believe in love spells? Do you believe in mm -hmm. those things? Yep. I do. It's the reason why she's down in Salem. It's the reason why you hear about the stories about the kids that go to Winston-Salem having more cases of, uh, what you call it? Um, night paralysis than anybody. Oh, did you see that movie, The Nightmare? Mm -mm. Oh, you probably should not watch that movie. Yeah, I ain't gonna watch it. You got to I, me twice. I had it was a, it's a documentary. It's a mm -hmm. documentary and it talks about um night paralysis and how this one guy was saying in the movie that he never got it until somebody told him about it and then he started getting it. Mm -hmm. As soon as I heard that, I turned on all the lights and I was like, "Tony, you turn this off cuz it can infect your head, I think." Mm -hmm. And even if it puts the idea in your head. Anyway, so you have to be chosen as a host for certain things based on Opening your mind up to the possibility. That's the first step. Opening your mind up to the possibility. But, I mean, who says it's real? It could it could be um, psychosomatic. Like, this person hears it, and now mm -hmm. his mind's playing tricks on him. Okay. Put it like this. We take it for granted. But what has to happen between you wanting a pizza and you getting a pizza, besides you ordering it? You get hungry. Mm-hmm. You set in your mind what you want, and then you go about the action to get it. Mm -hmm. It's not witchcraft, but that is a process where you have manifested this pizza. Right? You had the tools to get it. You had the money to get it and all that. But you have manifested this. And it's something small like that. Super small like that. The way that things can work as far as your subconscious goes. Like, just because you know about it, like, you're hungry. You know about pizza, now you can get pizza. It, it can come into your physical experience. 
Yeah. That's how this shit goes. Like when you open your mind to the possibility of it, that's the first step. That's like getting hungry. Yeah, I would say, and they, they do say this, that magic doesn't work on you unless you believe in it. Mm -hmm. Now there are witches in Romania who say otherwise. These are some of the more powerful ancient um, lines that go back. Nevertheless, I do, I do believe that you really have to believe in it in some way and believe that it can hurt you. Not just believe in it, but believe that you are going to be hurt by it. That magic works. Yeah, I respect it and I don't fuck with it. So let me ask you a question. These witches in Romania, what's up with them hoes? They claim to be the real deal and they have a long, long line um, going back because, you know, the gypsies. The real gypsies. Yeah, my mom's friend, uh, her old, old friend, she passed, but she was a gypsy. She could do she could do stuff. Like what? She probably if she told you she was a gypsy, she probably wasn't even no real. She gypsy. did it she did it for a living. They all they uh I'm not even gonna talk I, I about it. I thought gypsies but... just be stealing. I See, swear to Pete, God. That is, that's racist against gypsies. Fuck a gypsy. What <gasps> you talking about? You can't say that. The Romani people, first off, the Romani people, they're colloquially known as gypsies. You can't say what you just said. That's messed up. That's racism. That's not racism. Amir. I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on? No, I wasn't paying attention. That's like saying you can- This is what I for Amir. Amir, I was like, fuck a gypsy. And I said, no. When I think of gypsy, I think of them old ladies with them big ass bumps on their nose that be like, Aladdin, would you like to see what you could become if you give me some rupees? Oh my God. There, there are people called the Romani, and they have ancient traditions that go back a long time. Wow, CP. CP does not reflect the views of um, this podcast at all. I absolutely do reflect no, the fucking views. No, dude. It's the no. CP podcast. No. Okay, look. No, you can't say that about a whole ethnic group. A gypsy? I thought that was a mystical... Thief. There are people. They're the Romani people. They're, they're they have tradition. They have. They may have come from the Indian, um, from India and traveled to Europe. They've been discriminated against for hundreds of years in Europe, and the Nazis killed a lot of them in the Holocaust. So are they Jewish? No, they're not Jewish. They they have they they work with practical magic. Now, a lot of the skills have, um, they haven't been passed down to the generations. First of all, I want to apologize to the gypsies for Maya saying, fuck y'all. Um, <laughs> I want to apologize on behalf of Maya for saying, fuck all the gypsies because she don't know. <laughs> she don't know. She thought it was some shit from Aladdin. People who could bring you into a tent and be like, they will come for you. They will just come for you. And I had to explain to her that gypsies go back in time. Because they, they even call it getting gypped. That's a racist thing to say. You can't say get gypped. I mean, come on. Look at these people. These are like an actual. These just, are it's just... four of them motherfuckers. Yeah, like they just so deep. That is the hot boys. They, 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 they not no race of people. It's four gypsies. Gypsies go all over Europe and Romania. We sing the song when I was in high school. Gypsy, 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 gypsy. There's American gypsies too. Ireland, apparently, according to um today. What up, day? You feel me? They, they have. I don't do care. I don't care. I don't care. Do you remember um, mm -mm. that? Uh, I thought gypsy was like being a black belt. You could just be like, yeah, you know, I'm a gypsy now. What? Congratulations, girl. You did became. Yeah, I'm a gypsy. Because, you know, my last husband, he was beating on me. And now I'm a gypsy. And I shrank his dick. Ah! <laughs> they tried to pass a law against um, witchcraft in Romania. And a gypsy threatened to, um, to curse. 
the legislators, they took it back. It's interesting. <sighs> Please do not curse Maya for saying fuck the gypsies because apparently it's big trouble in Little China. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm going to make a song about the gypsies. If, 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 if they come for you, Maya, we're going to fuck the gypsies up. Me, Amir, Tony, we're going to fuck them gypsies up. Flat out. We're going to play that game. Well, okay. Back to Back to this. So in Salem, there probably weren't many witches. What he, happened in would Salem? Would you trust Amir? I ain't going to ask you, Maya. Amir, would you trust a witch with little titties? <laughs> it's like your first spell should have been to increase your volume. That's what, that's, that's what anybody believe your powers. Them little bitty regular ass titties, you could if you were a witch. I think about the, the fingers in the hat. If they ain't got them weird looking fingers. Yeah. And the hat. If the hat ain't right. It's just, I don't know about them little practical titties. I, I expect them to have some doper shit than that. If you're a regular woman, then that's a perfect amount of titty for you to have. But if you're calling yourself a magical witch and you ain't done the work on yourself? I mean, <laughs> what are we talking about? Some witches say you're not supposed to use magic to benefit yourself. And some witches do use magic to benefit themselves. Yeah. You know, well, look, shout out to the witches. I know some actual people who identify as that, and I don't want no smoke. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying these fake witches that's about to have this show, dead hot. They look like one of them dressed like t boss <laughs> <laughs> They got the Kim Possible swag, for real. They do, for real. Like, we're just witches, and we're a witch and... and uh, Furthermore, we're with China. It's like, especially with Vanessa Hudgens, she going Coachella that shit. You ever seen her fit? Her yes, Coachella look at her. She like, she, she <laughs> like uh, one time for the birthday witch, <laughs> two times for the birthday witch. This is my witch, Ashley. She's very cool. <laughs> Ashley, this is, what's your name again? Cool. So we're witches and one time for the birthday witch. <laughs> Witches, I love y'all, man. Y'all need to do witches. Do witches ever be like, we arch? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I fuck with. I mean, you know, if you're a witch, that's cool. But don't, don't I don't want to hear that gypsy shit. Gypsy just sound like, look, gypsy seem like it come with a starter kit, like a hoodie that's made out of like a silk, a nose ring, and a tooth jewel, and you running around the world, whatever. That's like when people used to, well, I mean, people still do. They dress up like uh, Native Americans for Halloween and they wear the, it's fine. It's it's up to the person to get offended and gypsies get offended when people say that they're thieves. Well, I didn't know that, but that's, that's I mean, if you look up gypsy. Yeah, D-Law, he said gypsies like pirates. No, well, pirates used they to. They said gypsies used to run in Target with a hook on their hand and be like, give me all the yarn. Yarn! Stealing cranberry juices and box wines and shit. Stealing from Target Corporate. They ride up in a station wagon and hook their station wagon to the side of the truck, get it tight, and then they walk the line like Jack Sparrow. All oh, I don't got a nose ring. <laughs> no, I have nose ring. What's my favorite word? We watch. All right, man. So apparently. I hope we just think I'm funny. <laughs> like, I hope y'all are laughing, dog, because I mean no harm. I mean no harm. Maya's the real powerful one. She's way smarter than me, and she knows better than bringing this up to somebody <laughs> like me. I'm nowhere near responsible enough to handle this kind of uh, information. And Maya knows that, but she's trying to set me up, which if y'all can't see that, y'all going to fall for that and hex me fucking with her. There are a lot of people that you probably wouldn't know are witches that are like, they practice what? practical magic. I want to find it. Never mind. A lot, a lot of people practice practical magic. Um, whether it's voodoo, whether it's Santeria, whether it's if you go into um, if you go into Vallarta, you ever been to Vallarta? Mm -hmm. They got a little Santeria section where you can get the the oil. It's so normal that in a Vallarta grocery store you can get like oh like, yeah 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 and the candles the oil and the candles yeah yeah, yeah 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 I know all about that I know I know some stuff but there ain't no gypsies though. 
No, they got their own thing. They got their own tradition. Gypsy, boom, jitch, 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 gypsy, boom, jitch, jitch, jitch. No? We got our own tradition, too. What we got? The CIA has all kind of stuff. Magic? Mentalism, yeah. Which basically magic. Well, I mean, that's drugs. Metaphysics. Metaphysics? Oh, they be fucking with people people subconscious and making them like Scarecrow from Batman. I swear to God, that's what I think when you say that. I think about Scarecrow from Batman. Amir, can you agree with that? Explain. Intimidation tactics, using psychedelic, like, um, mind-altering type of, like, a deal. Remember Scarecrow, where he put that thing on his face? That's like a, um, a potato sack. Mm -hmm. And then when he sprayed that stuff in that psychedelic, whatever in your face, you saw him as that thing. And that's what he's like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know. They used to dose each other. Like, when you find out what the CIA was doing with uh, acid in the 60s, they would... Just as a prank, dose each other. Yeah, it was called Project Project Dosey Do. <laughs> but they also did a lot with like mentalism and uh, projecting uh, projecting consciousness. So that that would be an American version of uh, witchcraft, of uh, magic. But it's not. But I I look at that. <clears throat> in all honesty, I look at that as like a synthetic magic. If Why that is makes... synthetic and not real? Because it's 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 drug altered. I mean, drug induced. It's very like um, anything weaponized in that form is in in my opinion, it's gonna be somewhat of a synthetic type of feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, we are um, we're a culture that comes from machines. We're very machine dependent as a culture. The railroad and all these things. So anything that we are going to make is going to be a little bit broken down into component parts, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like mechanized. Well, well, everything, but everything, even those mechanisms mimic um, nature and the the way that certain things work in nature in a way. You could break anything down to its bare base bone form of what it what its function is, and then you you'll you'll find a counterpart. Like a a high level top off of my head example is like a dam. You know what I'm saying? Like Studying what beavers did with dams mm-hmm. and then us taking that and creating that to be able to stop water. And, you know, it's just like it's us taking what works in nature and basically illuminating it, right? Look at these lights. We're trying to mimic the sun. We're trying to give ourselves daylight mm-hmm. in low light areas and, in, and night and stuff like that, right? We're trying to take the best of both worlds of having shelter from the sun and the elements while also sharing elements like that like we have a sink with water we have lights right but all of that is mimicking what we need from earth anyway and it works it works well it's basically sex toys how are they sex toys it's just lights but when you think about it like it's not the nature version it is the man-made version of this to create whatever sensation that we need or whatever necessity that we need from are it's it's us trying to recreate it. We did it and we did it better. Oh fuck yeah, we did it better. They're growing weed with LEDs. Yeah. I'm like, what? I don't know if people understand. Like, lights are bright, but we what we don't see is how they have to burn to be that bright. Mm-hmm. And LED is a whole different technology. I don't want to go into it because I really don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> um, I know what an LCD is, which is a liquid crystal display, but that's even even that's kind of like LED is light emitting diode is the the scientific term for yeah, it. Yeah, but you. they don't necessarily get uh, they don't really get hot, so right. they don't necessarily have to burn out. So LEDs, like when we went from LCD screens to LED screens, the chains was a big deal. So yeah, when you go from the TVs L- are cooler now. Yeah, and they can stay they can sustain a certain level of light way brighter than. Uh, LCD because LCD needed to be covered by light all around. LED lights itself, yeah. so you can get you can make it a lot brighter and it's cheaper and it's more energy efficient than using a light bulb because LED's lifespan is far superior to a far regular superior. light bulb. And the fact that it can emit that amount of light to help sustain something as but even weed in is that pretty though, nuts. if you notice, and I don't want to get too far into this. I know we we got a lot of people that's dealing with. Issues with um, insensitivity and posting and all this type of shit. But if you notice, one thing that is never going to be like we're on the forefront of technology as it pertains to television. Mm-hmm. 
Like, we always are updating TVs constantly. Like, I remember, shit, 15 years ago, DLP, digital light projection was so dope. It was a big screen, but it was super light because it had a small lamp that shot to a mirror, that shot to another mirror, that shot to a mirror, and every mirror was slightly bigger. And then it gave you your picture. And that was revolutionary at that time. Then they came out with the plasma. Plasma, all those cells with that gas in it, and then some cells would burn out. So you got a TV, you spent $8,000 on that last you two years because cells are burning out. Then they come out with the LCD, the liquid crystals, right? And those are the screens, those old school sharp screens, because sharp was killing LCDs back in the day. Yeah. You, could just, you could just touch, and you would see that kind of like wave of like, watery type of shit almost. And then all of a sudden, it's it's LEDs. Then it's OLEDs. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, we're making such a fast jump in television and entertainment, but look at what that drives. That drives the message that controls everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's a, a great process if, you, if you're unattached. Detachment. If you practice detachment and can really look at it and appreciate it. It's a great process. It's deep. You deep. have always been the best for entertainment and entertainment technology. Now it's TikTok. Mm. What's going on, on your phone, CP? Um, thirst trap. Sorry, guys. Thirst trap? <laughs> oh, I wanted to talk about it, but I don't know if we have time. Real quick. So, so the algorithm. Back on the start track. Go ahead. Okay, so that's the, that is getting me to this. The algorithm gives us what we want. So my, the, can I tell you what my algorithm gives me? What's that? Motivational videos, and like scary shit. Okay. I don't have a lot of thirst. That's why I don't oh, shit thirst trap. But I don't normally. <laughs> but you stop and look at it, so it's going to show you more thirst traps. No, because look, look, look. This is my explore page. You interacted with it, so that'll. I didn't even do anything. I didn't. I didn't touch it. It just. It just was on. But you. 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 So did you look at it for though? a long time? Not at all. So you just scroll past it. Did you? Did you stop when you're scrolling? No, it was the first thing that when I opened up the app. So it was just right there, and it was somebody who I follow, who I know. But I'm oh, so that's it. different. So the, so if it, you know. Yeah. But this right here, like this, you could go on my Explorer page. You want to see one titty, one ass cheek. It's Very all good. like alligators, sports, not you know animals. Um, Look at this bald eagle fishing, eating lizards and shit. This is the type of shit I be finding. I don't even go on my explore page. You know, this What's on explore. yours? What's on yours? Let me see. Oh my god! I try to make it more oh wholesome. Oh my god! Look at this: couples, babies, and cats. Maya. Oh my god! I, it, it tells a story. <laughs> it tells a story about you. <laughs> Family. Family. Oh, yeah. it's just couples, cats. I don't I don't get it on the explore page. I never use it. Is this Celtic Thunder? What is Celtic Thunder? Oh my god. I, no, no, no. I think I don't know if that's Irish dance or if that's Spanish. Sometimes it's hard to tell because they do all that hip Have, stuff. Do, do you know what Celtic Thunder is? No. Nah. Celtic Thunder. <sighs> yeah. It's it's, it's, it's spelled like Celtic. But it's dope because um Oh my god, no, I've never heard of them. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's like some astute, prestigious type of shit. When I was working in corporate, they made us, not made us go, but I got some tickets to go, and it was like, why am I here? Jesus Christ, Maya. But the algorithm. Aww, you, you want a baby so bad, and, and, I can't and, have a baby right now. And, I mean, look at all these baby-ass animals. Look at this. What the hell is that? I don't even know what it is. It looks like a, like a baby dick. <laughs> just, it's like, is that a ferret? I don't know. I see baby animals. Look, we we got a lot going on. We can't have a baby right now. I know, but you are studying them. <laughs> Shit. Maya gonna be the most prepared. That baby got a lot of hair, guys. That, that baby got a lot of hair. Look at these look at these look at these sloths. Oh my god. You have the best. I've never seen page. sloths like that before. That hair either. They kinda look like an owl. Ooh, look at this fat ass cat. Oh my god, he's so fat. Damn. That's a fat ass cat. Yo, he looked like the rugs that they be making, like they skinny. He looked like he spread out like that. Aww. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I want to step on it. <laughs> Don't step on the cat. Ah, cr- ah! Give, me that. Give me that. I should never have showed you my explore page. Burn, burn, burn. 
I hate algorithms though. I, I, it's so annoying. That's me at the petting zoo. Can you stop punching the goats, please? Burn, 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 burn. I'm sorry. I'm, you know what? The more we do this podcast, the more I learn I'm a horrible person. Because Maya be like, no, don't say that. America's good because America has fears. Well, compared to places I've been, it's good. I've been to some really messed up places. Man, it ain't nowhere for me to go except Magic City, <laughs> where they just accept me for who the fuck I am. You Do know. we not accept you? I we mean, try to make you a better person. I guess this is kind of like Magic City a little bit. It's just like Magic City. They only City. accept you if, you, like if you're paying, room. though. Mm-hmm. You're right, though. You're right. You ain't got no money, then they judging the hell out of you. Yeah, that's real. That's real. But I like to go in there and act like I'm a secret shopper. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, really? Interesting. They be like, what you right now? I be like, hmm, nothing. Just, uh, might end up shutting this place down if I don't get no pussy here pretty soon. They be like, what you that? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Magic City wings, bro. Magic City dope, man. It's cool. I want some wings. I drew a W. I'm on a new iPad, the new M2 chip iPad. Don't listen to what they tell you. This bitch is dope. You know, they like, oh, you know. <laughs> no, this bitch is nice. Um, we got to go, man. We'll talk about the demon and the algorithm next time. The demon? Oh, yeah. We'll talk about it next time. Okay, but just give me a little preview. Well, it's so you'll be like, next time on the CP Podcast. Yeah, next time on CP Podcast. If the algorithm gives you everything you want, who else gives you everything you want? Santa Claus. Satan. Satan. Okay. I'm so sick. (laughs) I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The fucking trap. So then, what is God's job? To not give you what you want. All right, man. (laughs) Give you what you need. All right, dog. Gypsies, Maya don't know no better. Me and Amir are going to talk to her after about some sensitivity issues that she has. And her views and opinions do not directly affect. Gypsies are a race of people with very nice noses, not big noses at all. Very nice noses. And they don't look like evil thieves. No, they do not. Yeah. Thank you, CP. So anybody that say, fuck a gypsy, we don't necessarily agree with. All right? So let's get that out there. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is CP. CP Podcast. Uh, yeah. Always the questions, never the answer. If you're a gypsy, you need to DM me because, uh, you know, I want to have a conversation with Maya and I want to get a couple of gypsies together and ones that I know, ones that she know. But let's just talk to her about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure she don't know sensitivity. She's be like... Fuck a gypsy, fuck a gypsy. Yeah, man. Shout out to the gypsies, though. Yeah. Hitler was bold. He he shouldn't have been killing them gypsies like that. No. He did a lot of bad things. But if they stole from him. All right, I'm out. (laughs)